You're yeah, welcome to the program. This is our culture, our heritage uh, from CRTV. Today we are taking you to a community which is an amalgamation of about uh, five uh, uh, communities. It is one of the oldest uh, fandoms of the Grassfield of the Northwest region. We're talking particularly of Mancon, and of course we all know Mancon is uh, one of those places that had a fierce battle with the Germans, and uh, you all know that the German uh, allied with uh, the Bali people to fight the Mankon people in what has become recorded in history as the Battle of Mankon. But that's just a little of the history of the Mankon people. There's a lot more to know about the people. That's why we decided to take you on a journey through the Mankon fandom, not just to see who they are, tell us their history and what is interesting about the people of Mankon. We're going to have a first dance before we get to meet our guests, and that's the Bakalum dance. That's a dance that cuts across the entire Northwest region. It's not just in Mankon you'll find Bakalem. You'll find Bakalem in many other places of the Northwest region. And that's the dance we're going to start the program with.
Joining me now is the president of the Mancon Cultural and Development Association. This is an association that brings together Mancon people all over the national territory and across the borders. It is an association that helps not just in promoting the culture of the Mancon people, but also to talk about development, that is the assist to the community in development. And the president is with us, Mr. Ande Valentine Do. Thank you so much for bringing us here in Mancon. Thank you very much, Madam. I am the branch president of okay. uh, mm -hmm. Makuda here on the branch. The mm -hmm. national president is still there. Mm -hmm. And so we are just a branch. There are so many other branches which are actually functioning in Mankan. So when did you become president of uh, this uh, uh, I actually became president here since 2012. Mm -hmm. It's been about uh, seven years since I'm president of this seven association good here years. in uh, Yaoundé. All right. And now, Mankan is a very big community. In Indeed. fact, it, it, it makes up a greater part of, uh, of the Northwest region, particularly uh, Meza. Here in Yaoundé, where we talk about the Mankon people, how many people are we looking at? We are looking for about uh, more than 1,200 persons who are resident here uh -huh. and their families. And do they all subscribe to the Mancon uh, Cultural and Development Association? All of them, they do subscribe. If you don't subscribe, therefore you are not actually in uh, conformity with the rules and regulations of the association because each and every man person is supposed to be part of this association. And what we have done again is that, you know, since Mancon is very large, we want to cover all the quarters mm -hmm. and we've subdivided all the quarters here for mm -hmm. better administration to take the administration to closer to the people. So how many quarters do we have in the Mancon We have condom? about 12 quarters here. Mm -hmm. Divided in we Yaoundé, have, in all Yaoundé, they represent the 12 Yaoundé. quarters in Mancon itself. 12 quarters are in Yaoundé here precisely. Okay. Because we have quarters like in uh, Mendong, we have a quarter head there. We have a quarter head in Damas. Uh -huh. We have a quarter head in Etukebe. Mm -hmm. We have a quarter head in Obili. We have in Meleng. We have in Bonamusadi. We have in Ekunu. We have in Swa and so many other places. Those are 12 groups in Yaoundé. How many quarters do we have in Mankon itself, the community? In Mankon <laughs> itself, we have more than 36 quarters in mm -hmm. Mankon. Uh -huh. I think uh, the fund. 76 quarters. 76 quarters. 76 quarters in Mankan. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Wow, that, that, that's quite huge. Uh, and now with the 12 groups in, in Yaoundé, how do you manage? How do you meet? Do you meet every day, every week? Or uh, is... Each and every group, we have those quarters, then mm -hmm. we have a lot of gatherings again. Mm -hmm. If we want to talk about the gatherings of the Mankan people, there are more than uh, 30 gatherings mm -hmm. here. That in the quarters, again, they have some other gatherings that they gather the Mankon people there. That's right. So we have this gathering, then we have uh, the quarters too, mm -hmm. that are doing the coordination of the Mankon people who mm -hmm. are there. Mm -hmm. They meet at their convenience. Mm -hmm. But every second Sunday of the month here in Yaoundé, no other meeting is supposed to meet except the general meeting here. Okay. And this is our site here at the Paulist in Yaoundé. 
All right. So now, how are you organize as as the president of Yaounde branch? How is Yaounde organized? You are the branch president. I am the branch president, and I do the coordination of all the other quarters which are here now, yeah. so that we can be together. The other mm -hmm. quarters, we have actually defined rules and regulations for each and every quarter and the other graduates to do their own assignments mm -hmm. and then the other things are done by the general group. We have a constitution for that uh -huh. that is actually trying to guide us what, who is supposed to do at what time. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and now when you, when you meet as a group, what are the things you talk about? What do you do as the Cultural and Development Association? Uh, things that we always do, we always try to brainstorm on things that are going to mm -hmm. prosper the man on man and prosper our community mm -hmm. together. Are there any projects that the uh, development association like the one you're heading has been able to carry out for the community? For now, you know, this hall is actually a project that we are carrying out here. Mm -hmm. And we started this hall, we did the decking, we did the roofing, and as of now, henceforth, we want to do the completion of this hall. Uh -huh. That's why we are still calling on our elites and all mm -hmm. the other Mankan people to That's come right. and subscribe for this project that, so that together we can do the completion of this edifice here to make it so magnificent so okay. that it should be imposing around this place and reflect who a man con man is supposed to be. And how is that going to help the man con man? What are you going to use this hall for? How does it add to, uh, to, to, to... You know, each and every person who is in here is not having the opportunity of building a house. So if a man con man is having an event okay. and he doesn't have where he can actually carry out these things, he can just come to this place. That's right. And then at, on most occasions too now, we can come here and just... Uh, you know, feel free as if we are at home <laughs> and this place here. Yeah, it gives you the sense of belonging. It's Actually, like when you're here, you're in Mankon, uh -huh. uh, many miles away though. Yeah. Right now, you're president of a development association. You said earlier on that if some people do not subscribe, it means they are not really uh, 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 worth to be Mankon people. What would you tell them? Uh, uh, those, those people who don't still think that they should join their, 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 their fellow brothers and sisters. I want to tell each and every person that, you know, it's actually good for you to be part of this association. Mm. So if you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe because you should not be an outcast of the community. The community have accepted what they intend to do. You uh -huh. cannot just be somebody who is going to be against the community. It's, uh -huh. it's not going to be good. We know that a lot of people are very busy. And we thank even those who are not here, but they still follow up what we are saying there. Mm -hmm. We are not saying that you should always be present, but once in a while, try to make an effort to be there so that we should know you personally, okay. not in, in abstentia uh -huh. at all the times. And how do you liaise with other groups? This is Yaounde, I guess there is Dwala, there is Bamenda, there is the diaspora. Uh, how do you liaise with them in order to make uh, sure that all of you are moving in the same manner? Actually, uh, the national president is based over there in the village in Mankan, okay. so he's the one doing the coordination. Uh -huh. I will just give my report to him and then he just taking my report and then if there are some other things that he thinks that the other people should know, mm -hmm. and then I will communicate through him, then he disseminate the information to other branches. I could just greet the other people, but we don't actually, we always have our general assembly meetings mm -hmm. up on the village that we uh. take major decisions, and then uh -huh. you come to your own place and just do the implementation phase. Okay, let's talk about the Mankong people in Yaoundé. The many of them, the thousands of, thousand, close to thousand and more that you talked about, what do they do? What are their activities? Uh, they are in all sphere of life. Some are in the government, some are business people, some are buy and sell them, some are benzikeners, and so on and so forth. We are almost in all mm. the, the, the traits. Ah, we yeah. are almost in all the sections. Yeah, Mankon is almost it, everything. Yeah, Mankon is, uh, is a carpenter, huge community. We are builders in Mankon. You can find all the technicians that you want to do, okay. and all the literate persons that you want to have in Mankon here. Yeah. So it yeah. means that this uh, structure we are in is, is being done by yourself. Both the money and the hand, they, 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 they labor itself. Yeah, the labor and everything is done by the Mankon people. Even the fabrics which are exposed here, it's done by the Mankon people. Wow, well. congratulations, Mr. President. Thank okay, let's go a little bit personal. As a president, this is your seventh year, you say? That's true. So what are the things that uh, you can t uh, take down history that we've been able to do as president of uh, Makuda? Yaoundé? Okay, as president of this uh, Makuda branch here, I've tried as much as possible to increase the number of people who are attending our okay. meetings now. And uh, when I was coming, you know, the other smaller house which is right behind there, that's where we're holding our meetings. This house was not yet completed. We did the decking of this house, we did the roofing of this house, and now we want to do the completion of this house. So some of the, the, the projects that I've carried out. But I want to equally thank my predecessors because they acquired this land and yeah. they did a lot of things before I came into 
to taking over the thing. They All right. Quite a lot. Thank you so much, Mr. Ande, and All I right. wish you good luck. How more? How much time do you still have left in office? Uh, in the office as a president? Uh, I still have about uh, four months. Huh? <laughs> in four months' time, I'll be leaving and handing over to some other to person. To some other person. By February next year, elections must have been conducted. My mandate is over this It's time. over. So uh, some other people, too, should be sharpening their appetite, and I'm behind them to support them succeed in their mission. Uh, that's right, yeah. because it's not very obvious to Actually. see uh, a former president being yeah. supporting another person. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations, sir, okay. and good luck. Okay. We're going yeah, well. to go to discover more than six from uh, Mancon. Uh, this time is an all women dance.
with well over 70 quarters, as you heard earlier on the presidency, uh, women should be playing a big role or women should have a very important position in that community. Now we're talking about the women of Mancon and with me is uh, Madame Defu Constance. Uh, she's one of the women of, of, of Mancon. You're welcome to the program. Thank you, Madame. You're beautifully dressed. Thank Is that you. how Manco women look like all the time? All the time. Ah, really? Yes. <laughs> Talk to us a little about uh, uh, the women. You are heading the women's wing, yes. should I put it that way, of, yes, uh, of the uh, uh, Development Association of Manco. How many women do we have uh, uh, who are subscribed to the women's wing? We have more than 200 women, but not very frequent. Mm -hmm. Because um, under the Makuda branch, the umbrella of uh, the Manco Development Association, there are different women groups. The one I had is one mm -hmm. uh, with uh, women of all classes. Mm -hmm. And generally we have about 50 women in attendance. Okay, each time you sit, and that's how often? Uh, every second Saturday of the month. Okay. Yes, we have a meeting. Okay. So now, you started by saying that the women are not very associative or they're not responding too much to the association. What, according to you, could be the cause? Is it the activities? Most of them are busy on Saturday. Yes, you know, that is it. Yeah, only everybody says they have come to look to earn a living. Yeah. So on Saturdays, most of the women, they go out to sell. Mm -hmm. They go out to, some are walking. Mm -hmm. So they're running around their houses, doing their house chores. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult for them to come. But we are doing everything in our capacity. The one I really even heard, I, I heard as a leader, I think they are really doing, they're making an effort to be there. Okay, so when you meet as women, what do you talk about? The objective of our group, first of all, is to help the underprivileged Mancon girl. Okay. So when we meet, we try to put funds together to be able to take care of the unprivileged and to take care of our women in the, in the village because uh, we know many people lack the finances to go even to the hospital. Yeah. So we've put funds together, we've equipped the maternities in the village, provided them with uh, maternity kits mm -hmm. to help reduce yeah. infant mortality. That's right. Uh, Amankon is a very, uh, I don't want to say too patriarchal community, uh, but it's one of the oldest fondoms of, of, of the Northwest region with one of the oldest fonds. I must say, if he should be the oldest, yes. he's been on the throne for well over 50 years. Yes. He, this should be the 52nd or 53rd year of, of, of his fondom. Mm. What do women do around the, 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 the fondom of Franco? Yes, like most of the time, women go around the palace, they go and clean, they help the fond, they cook food and visit the fond. When there are activities in the palace, they take part. Uh, they go to help even work in the farm. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, do we still have the situation where women will not be allowed to, 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 to be around where there are notables? They will not be around for certain kind of ceremonies? 
uh, uh, yes, because when I look at you, you don't look like a woman who is at the background. It's true. <laughs> those those we, women still give the respect where it is needed, and it's, it's still it's still practiced even in Mancon today. Women know where they have to end mm -hmm. and where they have to go. But does, does that in any way stop the, the, the growth, or personal growth and uh, the mental of the woman? No, 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 it mm -hmm. doesn't. Because mm -hmm. if you see the Mancon women, they're all over the place. In, they go to school, they go to... They feel free, they come out, they speak. It's not like in those days that they were only in the kitchen. Uh -huh. They only had to be there to cook food, prepare a truth for Papa to come and eat, go to the farm, take care of the children. No, they are now working. They are teachers, they are lawyers, magistrates, tax inspectors. We have every, all types of... I'm talking about food. What does the man called man eat? Hmm. <laughs> the man called man, without a truth, he cannot survive. There's no life without oh, a truth. Oh, there's no life without a truth. So the man called woman has to pound her truth. And if he wants to just win his heart, Prepare black soup. Oh yeah, special black soup. I'm going to hold on with you for a while, and we move to the kitchen to see what the Bangkok people, besides Achu and black soup, what else we can eat in Bangkok. Yes, sir. Here you have an azu. Azu and don't know which is a sweet yam. You have the pumpkin that they call in the dialect nebo. You have uh, the cassava that they call in the dialect. Kasar, this is uh, the vegetable made from uh, what we call green. Tabu kaka, abu kaka manzu. That they make it from corn and granite. This is a goosey pudding. This is akuza tarnu, which is made of of uh, cocoa yam and uh, and the leaves and cocoa yam leaves. This is akua yibo. They call it kokoyams. This is nzankang, the vegetable. This is uh, nza, nza, they call this one in Baga. They used to eat with uh, the plantain and the sweet yam. Nungomne tarinu, they used uh, uh, plantains and bitter leaf to produce it. That is bitter leaf soup. Nzaye, as they call it in the dialect. Abu kaka, that they use uh, corn flour and vegetable with red oil to produce it. This is anyere garden egg. This is achu. They call it in the dialect achua. And this is the red soup. Nza nza achua nza nkiye yellow soup. You have the black soup that they call it nza mbaga. That they use cocoa leaf to produce it and a goosey. Mutu, mutu matarinu. This is being produced from potato, Irish potatoes and vegetable. Then you have manzu, which is granite. You have inche. Then it is corn. This one you see here is dermalua, which is palm wine. This, what you see here is Ankwebnu. They call it Ankwebnu, which is plum. Here you have Akoba, which is free from the raffia palm fruits. And finally you have Nubi, which is kola nut. We have this, is usually the, the bird kaka, which is the corn, the vegetable and oil. It's mostly during the dry season, when there is no food. We use it now like the food preserved. We eat during that period since we can't get fresh food. And the, the one with corn, you have corn with vegetable and that with granite. We also have a, a main dish, which is achu. Achu is all around the season. Either you use cocoa yams or the makabo to prepare the achu. It's all around the season. It's mostly used in all occasions in Mancon. You have it either marriages, death celebrations, bon house and all that is we always have those dishes at the uh, the events. We also have uh, the cocoa with the the, the leaves that's uh, ambara with akusa tarun that's mixed. That is also during the rainy season. Because during the rainy season we have a lot of cocoa leaves 
and the flour which comes out of the cocoa leaf. That is what is used to prepare the cocoa yams, the French cocoa yams during the, the raining season. And uh, we also have uh, ambara, the, the plantains made with bitter leaf and oil. It's used mostly in the, in the, the royal areas. When somebody is getting married, you have the um, baga that is bitter leaf and oil, which is used when somebody is getting married on the eve, when that uh, going to see off the woman into the man's house. You usually have the plantain and uh, the bitter leaf soup accompanying the woman to the house, and everybody must get a taste of it. We still see that the Mankon people share some of the common meals of the northwest uh, region, like Katikati, yes. the Komo Katikati, besides uh, 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 the Achu. Achu requires a lot of work, the pounding. But yes. we still see that it is the women who do the pounding, despite the fact that it is tedious work. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, when you want to please your man, you do it happily. You don't feel like it's even a burden. You don't That's feel right. it like it's work. Uh -huh. It's just so easy, you know, every day. It's, you just get up, even if it's four cocoa yams you put in the pot and prepare because Papa has to eat. Okay, but now all the, the food stuff that we saw, do they grow them in, in Mankon? Yes, oh. yes. Mankon is so blessed. We have fertile land. We have all what we prepare that comes from our farms. Okay. So now, what is the message you have to man for women? Many of them who are still dragging their feet, they don't want to come to groups, they don't have time, and so on and so forth. What would you tell them? I want to tell them that they are missing out on something. It's good to belong. When you come and meet your sisters, you share ideas, you grow together. And with all our efforts, we can help Mankon, the Mankon women and the Mankon girls to come out from the darkness and be um, out there in the world to let other villages know that they have tough girls and tough women. Yeah, I was told that everything we have in the background, even your bag, is done by uh, Mankon people. Yes, yes. That's a gift that the Mankon women also have because they're mostly women, craft work. They do it. Okay. Yes. The, and the jewelry you have on you? This one now we are doing diversity. Okay. So we want to mix up the things so that we can look beautiful, mixing different cultures too. And maybe why not learn how to do that? And learn also? how to, that is it, that's what we are trying to do because we have also copied from Nigeria too. We are wearing it with a traditional regalia and it's really good. So we said, why don't we go out again of Nigeria to bring in something new to see how it looks like with a Mankon regalia. I wish you good luck in, in all of that with what you're doing for the Mankon young girls, especially for their education Thank and uh, in, in health. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Defu, for talking to us. Thank you very much. It's really a pleasure having you with us. Right, uh, we're going to have another dance uh, from uh, Mankon. Uh, as you say, it's a very big, huge community. So you'll be discovering not just the food, but equally the traditional dances.
person uh, I will be talking to is Mr. Adetuma. He's the president of one of the Mancon groups here in Yaoundé. They call it Mancon Veteran. To me, each time I hear veteran, I, I think of football. I don't know whether it's the same thing. Mr. Ade will be telling me. Uh, Mr. Ade, you're welcome to the program. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, am I right to say it's a football club? Or it's just the name? Uh, it, is, it is also a football club. It's a club, actually. Okay. Football is just one of the activities. The, the activities. Mm -hmm. Uh, our activities span through, uh, I mean, empowering each other, mm -hmm. uh, coming together to reinforce capacity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I mean, we play soccer for our health, mm -hmm. but we come together every now and so often. We raise funds, mm -hmm. create wealth, you know, network. That's a, that's, that's that what we like is a, a group for the who is who in Mancon. Who are those who are part of the veteran? Okay. Part of Mancon. Okay. The veteran, we, we actually define it to be for those who are 35 years and above. Okay. But that does not stop us from bringing in younger ones, mm -hmm. I mean, to start preparing them to take over. That's right. Because we bring the younger ones, they come in, they play the soccer with us, but the elder people who are there do other activities. Traditional dances is also part of you know, what we do mm -hmm. amongst the things that are cited to you. Okay, so now when do you meet? When, when, when do you meet and when you meet, what happens? Are you a veteran, a man called veteran, you, uh, soccer is one of them? Yes. Now, you talk about empowering one another. Uh, do you gather, you put your money together? Do you sponsor people's businesses and so on and so forth? Yes, actually we meet every week. At least once. Every week. Every week, at least once. That's very on, regular. That's Things very regular. Have a lot of time. <laughs> on Saturdays. Okay. So we start up at the playground on Saturdays. Okay. We play some soccer for a period of an hour or two. Mm -hmm. And then we go back to, we have a clubhouse mm -hmm. of ours. So we meet there, that's when we start discussing on other things. We have what we commonly call Njangi. Okay. We actually have a saving scheme. Yeah. And then we are actually a registered team in the national veteran veteran club in the national veteran tournament there's a national veteran tournament going on around the country we uh, it might be interesting for you to know that we've been participating in such a tournament for the past five years okay but away from that what we try to do often is we try to because people come in with from different aspects different uh, mm -hmm. back with different backgrounds Background. with different jobs so we try amongst ourselves to create jobs to give you no know, activities to give jobs to those mm -hmm. who you know have the know-how but above all not only does that happen in the group we go out to mm -hmm. source to get i mean other people in different groups to you know, different to groups which are mancon groups or mancon as well as other communities as well where you think you can get help or support exactly i just mentioned the national veteran it's it, it's a, it's usually an opportunity where people come all over the world okay. or, or the country, country to participate now tell us the, the, the veteran do you have men and women uh, as part of the mancon veteran Ex exactly we have men and women mm -hmm. but it's interesting to know that it is the name mancon veteran it's only a name. It doesn't mean that it's uh, exclusively for Mancon people. Okay. We, are, we have members from all over the country, uh -huh. the people from the littoral, from the center region, from the western region. Okay. So but it's just it, a name. It's just a name. Yeah. Uh, so that's how you're, 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 you're able to, to, to network with other groups, to be able to, to, to learn many things. Exactly. exactly. Okay, how exactly. many people are we talking about? How many people are in, in, in that group? We actually have uh, 75 registered members. Wow, that's huge. Yes, uh -huh. it is. It and is. when you meet on, on every week, as you're saying, you have seven, uh, many people, many people in your gatherings. Yes, we have. We definitely will not have all the 75 every Saturday, mm -hmm. but we have so many people coming. We have like 40, 50 people coming like every other week. So, okay. So. Uh, all right. So do you have like any projects at hand? Yes. Yes. Right now we have, this is one of the projects we have. Okay. What's going on right now. Okay. You know, assisting the entire community, the Mancon community uh -huh. to to complete this, this the, the, the Makuda house, uh -huh. which is our, our mother house. Okay. And uh, away from that, we also have a project of uh, building a clubhouse of our own here in Yaoundé. Okay. And we are working towards empowering some of the less privileged that have been driven away from the Northwest, okay. especially the Mancon community All right. that have been affected by the, the recent crisis. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Mm. Okay, that's, that's quite huge. Uh, that's quite for, 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 for a group, especially that you have people who are not from Mancon. Mm. If they subscribe to the idea of assisting people in Mancon, I think it is a good thing. And that's the way we should all be thinking. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I, I want to say that uh, if you come to Mancon Veteran, you have exactly what 
you know, the head of state talks about the Vivian Sam. You okay, come to Man Converted, from, people it, come up from, from all over. Pot. It's like a melting point. People come from all over, and we live and work together, and we develop ourselves together, and uh, we grow. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Day. Thank you, and uh, congratulations to the Veteran Club. I really love to see how a Saturday by the Veteran Club looks like. The, the doors are open <laughs> anytime. <laughs> All right, we're, uh, it's another dance we're going to see now uh, before we get to know a lot more about the Mancon Fondo.
right now I'm talking to two gentlemen, I don't want to call them the gentlemen, they are members of the elite uh, class of uh, Mankon here in Yaoundé. I begin with my right, uh, Mr. Ndefu is an, a member of the elite of, of Mankon in Yaoundé and on my left we have the representative of uh, the phone here in Yaoundé, that's the representative of the phone in Mankon. As, as a matter of fact, he's the Secretary General of the Mankon Traditional Council, so, he's, so he can talk uh, to us uh, about the, 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 the Mankon Fondom. Uh, conveniently, Mr. Tomnifo, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you, madam. What is your title that I should be using? I've said Mr., but do you have okay, a title? Tomnifo Richard. Tom that's, that's the name. Richard. Is a name or a it, title? It's a name and a title. And a title. What does yeah. it mean? To, what does Tomnifo mean? Tomnifo means the phone's royal emissary. Okay. So the phone actually sent you here on a mission. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're on a special mission of the palace in Yaoundé. Yeah. Now, how do you become the representative of a fawn in the community? No, it's the fawn that uh, looks at, around his elite mm -hmm. and look at those with uh, potentials that can best mm -hmm. represent him in the different spheres of life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I said, so since when did you become uh, uh, that person in Yaoundé? No, I'm not in Yaoundé, the whole, man, the whole of Mankon oh. community, mm -hmm. the secretary of the Mankon Traditional Council. <laughs> So, but you're representing the phone in this occasion. For this occasion, I've come down from Bamenda, from okay. Mankon, to represent His Royal Majesty the phone of Mankon for this occasion. So uh, you certainly have a message that comes from the phone, which we're going to get before we, 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 we round up. Now yeah. talk to us a little about the, 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 the fondom of Mankon. After the fund, who else do we have? A little about the structure of the fund. Of yeah, Mankon has a hierarchical, uh, traditional administrative structure. You have the phone at the head, mm -hmm. then moving down to uh, clan heads, mm -hmm. then from clan heads you, you move down to the yeah. quarter heads, uh -huh. then quarter heads to compound heads, mm -hmm. compound heads to, to now house heads. Okay. So that's the hierarchical administration of Mankon. Earlier on we talked about Mankon having like 76, 76, 76 quarters, 76 quarters yeah. and headed by who are those at the head of every quarter? Yeah, yeah 76 quarters, they are made of the quarter, mm -hmm. each of the quarter council is made up of seven members. Okay. And then you have the quarter head, the secretary, and then the treasurer, mm -hmm. and the other, other four members. Mm -hmm. So it's made of seven members. Okay. All right. And so what's the role of the different uh, quarter heads? How do they answer back to, 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 to the palace? Yeah, the quarter heads are being coordinated by the traditional council, the Mankon traditional council. Yeah. And their role is to, uh, to safeguard and promote the cultural potentials of the, mm -hmm. the culture of Mankon and equally the socio-economic potentials of Mankon mm -hmm. in the various quarters. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave you to talk to Mr. Andefu now. Mr. Andefu, as I said, is a member of the elite of Mankon here in Yaoundé. How long have you been in Yaoundé? I've been in Yaoundé for the past 26 years. 26 years in Yaoundé. That's quite huge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a long time uh, 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 in Yaoundé. What do you people do as members of the elite? You people live out of Mankon. What do you do to make sure that back home is okay? Let me just put it as simple as that. Yes. First of all, we came here as individuals for the search of life, yeah. but it doesn't make us forget that we have a culture. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why we have come here this, on this day mm -hmm. to showcase our culture, mm -hmm. which is going to help the children for posterity. Mm -hmm. We are growing out and, and we are aging out mm -hmm. and the children have to learn the culture. Mm -hmm. We organized from time to time mm -hmm. occasions like this where we mm -hmm. have uh, we socialize with the younger ones mm -hmm. and uh, we equally uh, make Asian visits back home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes so that the children should learn the culture yeah so we don't only concentrate in your own day but we also go home especially yeah. during holidays with okay. the children so, so, so that you can not just be talking to them, they can see the things that you've been talking about of to course them. like today you are going to see what we have showcased we have brought all the traditional meals that exist in Mankon, mm -hmm. which in individual homes they, they don't might not even know practice it. regularly. Mm -hmm. Yes, but here you are, the children are going to see all that, and even some of the adults mm -hmm. will see some for the first time. And even the traditional regalia you see here, they are mm -hmm. of various various types. Mm -hmm. You have some which are ceremonial, like what I'm having. Mm -hmm. You have some which are casual. Okay. That's part of the culture that we are promoting. Mm -hmm. So do they the other people who are in uh, Yahunde, who are Mankon people, who came like you in search of greener pastures, uh, do, they, do all of you think in, in the same uh, 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 way? Uh, 
going back home, making the children learn and so on and so forth. Do you have any difficulties inculcating that in the minds of uh, the Mancom people? I will tell you that it's, it's very, very simple. It goes so well because every parent, every Mancom mm -hmm. parent has known that the importance of, uh, has known the importance of learning the Mancom dialect and practicing the culture. Okay. That is why they bring their children all along. Every month we have a monthly meeting mm -hmm. and it takes place in this, our uh, cultural hall which we are building. Okay. okay. Yes, and uh, there's no man command who is behind. Okay. Every man command tries to move ahead with the culture. Right. I can see we have uh, the man command alphabet uh, all over, uh, uh, around us. Uh, uh, let us move back to Mr. Tumni for to tell us what the, the, the phone asked him to say to the people. All the way from Bamenda, uh, uh, what did the phone ask you to tell the people? Yeah, the phone has sent a message of... Can you talk, uh, you're talking now to the commun Mancon community, so yeah, you look the into phone the camera. has sent a message of appreciation and uh, encouragement to the Mancon community here in Yaoundé, under the manner of the Mancon Development and Cultural Association, mm -hmm. Makuda, for the great work they have been they have done in realizing the cultural hall mm -hmm. here in Yaoundé. Mm -hmm. And the phone deems it as a, as a, a, a big achievement that will go a long way in uh, enhancing and promoting the culture of Mancon here in Yaoundé and equally the living together of the Mancon people here in Yaoundé. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, for talking to us, CRTV. I do hope uh, the message has gone through. The phone is saying thank you to all of you, you, the members of the elite, those back home, those all over the national territory. And we want to thank all of you for watching the program uh, this afternoon. Do join us next time for another edition of the program. Have a nice time.